you been feeling stuck. You feel uninspired, you don't feel motivated, you feel like you have this creative block. You try and start something new, like a new project, and it just isn't working. You're met with all of this resistance. Welcome to Mercury Retrograde, my beloved. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So, I was gonna talk about this on my Instagram story, which by the way, if you are not following me on Instagram, it'll be like right here somewhere, come follow me over there. But anyways, I was gonna talk about this on my Instagram story, but then I was like, no. This needs a whole ass video. Mercury goes retrograde three times a year, so this is relevant now, this will be relevant in the future. I have been seeing and hearing the last few weeks repeatedly people saying that they feel like they're in a rut. They're uninspired, they don't feel creative right now, especially like content creators online. They don't know what they want to create. They're not excited, they're not motivated. And I've been wanting to like reach out to every single one of those people and be like, hello, Mercury is retrograde, duh. But then I would have to explain what all of that means and whatever. We all know like the common mishaps that Mercury retrograde creates, right? We know that Mercury retrograde is not a good time to sign a contract. It causes issues with communication, electronics, you know, any type of technology, our cars, spell check your texts and your emails, traffic delays, issues with communication, blah, blah, blah. We know all of that. But I wanna talk about what Mercury retrograde does to our mental energy. Mercury is the mind's planet. It rules the mind, it rules thoughts, it rules our thinking. That is why we have communication issues and errors when Mercury is retrograde. So as you can imagine, when Mercury goes retrograde, our thought process is a little skewed sometimes. We can feel kind of confused. We can feel like we can't really keep our thoughts in order. And this is directly related to our mental creative energy. New ideas, new thoughts that we wanna take action on, we will find that it's just not working when Mercury is retrograde. I have always said that the planets are trying to help us. This is one of the many reasons why astrology is such a beneficial tool because when you understand the planets and the energy of the planets and what the planets are doing and how it affects us on earth because it does then you can actually work with the energy rather than having it work against you or meeting a bunch of resistance the planets are always trying to help us and they do that by influencing our energy and the energy around us what you want to know and understand about any planetary retrograde retrogrades cause us to go inwards it takes the energy of that planet and it turns it inwards so when mercury goes retrograde our ideas our our expression our self-expression that is mercury ruled as well our thoughts our communication it is all influenced to turn inwards rather than an external expression of those things. Retrogrades are all about the re's, like R-E. Retreat, refocus, reanalyze, readjust, realign, all of the re's. <laughs> so Mercury retrograde wants us to go inwards, retreat, and reflect and reanalyze on those mercurial themes our thoughts, our communication, our expression, our ideas. When Mercury is retrograde and suddenly you're feeling uninspired, you're feeling like you don't know what to create or you try and start something new and it's not working, it's because Mercury wants you to lean into that energy of retreating. It's not the time to put out new projects or start new projects. That doesn't mean that you can't be creative or put out a piece of work or post on social media or start something new. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. What it does mean though, is that you may experience some delays or a lot of delays. You may feel blocked. You may just feel like, again, it's not working. And that's not always gonna be the case. I've had some Mercury retrogrades where I've been really creative and I haven't had those mental blockages 
And that's gonna happen sometimes. Not every single retrograde is gonna be like your brain stops working and you have to retreat. But of course, it's gonna depend on what's going on in your own chart, how the energies are at play together. But more often than not, Mercury retrograde causes us to feel that lack of inspiration. But there's a reason for that. And that's why I say you have to lean into the energy that you are feeling rather than creating even more resistance for yourself. So when Mercury's retrograde and you're feeling uninspired, it's because you are meant to take a break. You're not supposed to be creating right now. You're not supposed to be super external with your self-expression. You're supposed to be going within. Mercury retrograde is a great time to reevaluate and readjust your plans. Mercury retrograde is a great time to go back and finish old projects. That's one of the best ways you can use Mercury retrograde energy is by finishing things that you left incomplete. Rather than moving on to something new, go back and fine tune an old project or go back and completely change things altogether. I can't tell you how many times during Mercury retrograde I have gone back and completely like refilmed an entire video or I'm actually doing that tomorrow. I'm refilming a video. One of the reasons why this is so important to understand is because we are constantly going, 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 especially in this age of Aquarius where so many things are like surrounding social media so many people have online careers or they're an influencer or they're a content creator or you have an online business and you know even if it's not online just i'm using that as an example we're always go 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 we're always trying to be creative we're always trying to think of the next thing to put out there we're always trying to do a million things at once and you can do that and that's great but eventually you're going to reach the point of burnout Think of Mercury retrograde as the friend that saves you from burnout. People go, go, go. They're exhausted. They've pretty much used up all of the mental energy and the creative energy that they have. They need to refill their mental cup, right? They need to take a break. They need to rest. That's another re, but we don't do that. We keep going anyways. And then Mercury retrograde rolls around and it's trying to force us to go inward. It's trying to force us to rest, retreat, relax, and take a break. And what happens is instead of leaning into that energy, people will end up thinking I'm uninspired. I'm not motivated. Like what's wrong with me, right? Now we're hard on ourselves. We're meeting resistance and we create even more resistance because we try and force ourselves into creating or being inspired or coming up with new ideas or starting new projects when really it's not the time to do any of that. It's time to take a break. I took a whole month hiatus off of YouTube and the one time that I tried to film a video, it was not working. I couldn't get into the flow of things. I could barely even get a sentence out. And I knew that that was Mercury retrograde. It wasn't the time for me to create but there wasn't anything wrong with me. It's not like suddenly I had lost my ability to make a YouTube video. No, it was a time for me to take a break. Here's what happens when you actually lean into that energy and you do retreat and you do reflect and you do rest. You are going to come out of Mercury retrograde, whether when it's over or near the end of Mercury retrograde you're going to feel so refreshed and so inspired. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Mercury is gonna be stationing direct in just a few days here. And I feel like I'm back to my old self. I have all of these inspired ideas. I have all of these creative ideas. I'm able to sit down and actually film a video and just get the words out and it flows naturally. I no longer feel blocked. And it's because I took that break. I did do a lot of reanalyzing and thinking about video ideas that I wanted to create. Mercury retrograde is a great time to plan ideas for the future because it's such an internal and inward focused energy that you can really think about what you wanna create. It's just not the time to go out there and actually create it. Let yourself use this time and this energy to fine tune those projects that you want to put out in the future when Mercury isn't retrograde. It never fails that Mercury retrograde causes these blockages and it causes delays. 
So you're not using the energy to your benefit. You're working against the energy. You're working against yourself when you should just lean into what Mercury is influencing you to do anyways. We think that we are running out of time because that is what the human mind, the ego, thinks. We think we don't have enough time and we're always in a rush. Our whole society is go, go, go and it's hustle, hustle, hustle and it's like, no, you're allowed to take a break. You're supposed to take a break. If you really want your cup to be filled and you want to feel inspired and you want to be clear headed and you want to have all these great ideas, you have to take a break every once in a while. And Mercury retrograde is the best time to do that. Three times a year, you get a mental break and you're able to come out of Mercury retrograde feeling inspired again with new ideas. And then the energy that's surrounding you is now moving forward. It's no longer blocked. It's no longer delayed. Your mental energy is going forward. So you can actually start new projects and watch them unfold the way that you want them to rather than dealing with these delays and these blockages. There's nothing wrong with you. You haven't lost your creativity. You haven't lost your inspiration or your motivation. It's just a time to recharge, reflect, retreat, reanalyze, readjust, Finish old projects and let your mind rest. Also, all I'm saying is Mercury retrograde is a great time to meditate, all right? It's all about mental energy being turned inwards. So if you want to start something new during Mercury retrograde, start a meditation practice. I'm just saying. I'm planning on making another video kind of talking about what retrogrades are, even though I did cover a lot of it in this video, but I wanted to talk about like, what to expect and what to do and what not to do during Venus retrograde, Saturn retrograde, every single retrograde. That way you are prepared and you know what to expect and you know how to navigate the energy and like I said, use the energy to benefit you. The planets are trying to help us. Okay. If you guys want to see that video, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how this Mercury retrograde has been treating you guys, which by the way, if you didn't know, Mercury is retrograde in its home sign of Gemini. So that's like a double whammy of Mercury retrograde vibes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Come join the fam. I love you guys and I will see you in divine timing. Okay, bye. I just realized that I should have had my moon lamp blue because now it actually looks like mercury. Throat chakra. Just saying.